Hello guys, this is Oddly Worth Watching and I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional thumbnail for completely free without paying a penny. So, first we're going to download the program which we're going to be using which is GIMP. So you need to go into your internet browser, I'm using Chrome, and just type in GIMP and just go on this one, GIMP GNU Image Manipulation Program. And click on the downloads so you can download it using either of these methods I'm going to do download GIMP 2.8 directly so just click on that one and it will uh, install just here and it will take about 30-40 seconds to install depending on your internet connection so thumbnails are a really important part of your video because it's the first thing that people see on YouTube so if it doesn't if the thumbnail is not good then why should they click on your video they'll click on a video with a better thumbnail so thumbnails are quite important to get more views on your videos and maybe even more subscribers if you're lucky so once it's done you need to go you need to show it in the folder or just run it but then find it here the setup exe and then go open and if it comes up with this just put run anyway because it's a perfectly safe download and then you need to go through the instructions and install it but I'm not gonna do that because I already have it so that should be fairly simple enough let's get rid of that and that so once you've done it go to your desktop and you should see the GIMP logo somewhere on your desktop but if it isn't there you just need to go to the corner and you need to search for GIMP and it should come up right here and if it doesn't then maybe you've not installed it so you just need to try and install it again so to click on GIMP and it will open and you'll be greeted with a window just like this and you first need to create a new page basically so we're going to go to new and for the YouTube thumbnail we want 1280 by 720 and you can do it bigger than this but it needs to be at least this size to fit on YouTube without being stretched so click OK and here is the blank page so I'm actually going to delete the white background you don't have to do this but I think it makes it easier so you can actually see the edges of your thumbnail so now we're going to want to put a background on so go back into your internet and find the background you want I found this orange gradient background which I quite like so then you need to copy the image then you need to go back into your GIMP and then you need to click on edit then go to paste as new layer and make sure you paste everything as a new layer because then you can move it all around individually and it makes it a lot easier so this has actually pasted itself perfectly in place but if it isn't the right size and you might just want to uh, use a scale tool which is right here the fourth one down on the left hand side so you might want to do that and you can scale it and make sure these are together so it doesn't change the shape just make it a little bit bigger and click scale and it will be the right size so use the move tool again which is this one to just make sure the background is where you want it and once you're happy with it then you want to add some text to your thumbnail so it's just this A here, it's quite obvious what it does. So just click and drag the box out to the right size. And then you need to, okay the tool option seems to have disappeared. So if that's happened, you need to go to Windows, Recent, no which one is it, Dockable Dialogues, Tool Options. Sometimes it does like to disappear. So you need to go into here 
So first choose the size of it you want. I'm gonna go for about 190 something. That will do. And then you go to the font just here and you select the font that you would like to use for your text. So you can actually download these from the internet if you want other ones. And I'm gonna be using this one, the bold font. And once you've sorted that out, then you need to choose the colour of the text. So I'm actually going to go for green because I think it will stand out on the orange. Like that, and once you've done that, you need to or type in uh, what you want the text to say. So I'm going to put thumbnail tutorial. Actually, let's do easy thumbnail tutorial. Type it in. And if it doesn't fit, you just need to uh, drag this box down here like that. So there we go, easy thumbnail tutorial. And there's also some extra things you can do if you want, if you highlight it. Because you can make it bold, italic, underlined and strike through. You don't really want to use that. But let's underline and italic it. Because that will make it look a bit more interesting. You see? It has improved the look of it slightly. So you can move this text around wherever you want. So to finish off the text, we are actually going to add a black outline around the edge to make it stand out more. So you need to make sure this is on the layers. So select the layer which the text is on, like this, and then you need to right click on that. Then click on this one here, which says Alpha 2 Selection. Let's click on that and it should bring up a dotted line right around the edges of your text. So once you've done that, go up here to select, then grow. Now you need to put this, I'm going to put this on about 11 or 12, not 20, that's too much. So I'm going to put this on about 12, you can do this how much you want, but I'll probably say more than 10 for this. And you see this line should have moved out and you should have this gap around the text all the way around. So to add the outline you just simply need to go to the full bucket tool which is over here. Then make sure this colour, click on that and you need to change this colour to the colour you want. Once you click OK this will change the colour and you just need to fill in the edges. So make sure the cursor is right between the edge of the text and the line and just click that and straight away it should come up like this and it instantly stands out. So also make sure these middle bits are filled in if you would like it to look like that. So fill in all of these bits and once you're happy with that you can go back to this move tool here and you can move it around. So we're just going to put that about there. So you could just leave your thumbnail like this but we are actually going to add another image somewhere else on the thumbnail so go to google again or your search browser and find the image you would like to put on the thumbnail so i found this image here which i quite like so you need to copy image then go into gimp then edit the same as what we did before paste as new layer so this is obviously far too big so if that does happen, then you need to go to scale tool again, click on this, and then to scale it down to a reasonable size how we want it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, like that. And then you need to go on to the move tool and you can move the image where you want. But this image actually has a white background on it and we don't want that because it's not going to look good and it's not really what you want on your thumbnail. So we can actually get rid of this in GIMP. So you need to use this one here, the fuzzy select tool. Click on that. Then you just need to click somewhere in the background area. This does actually work better if it's a solid colour. And it will select all of this area right here. 
so then you just need to press your delete button and just like magic it will be deleted so I actually want this underneath the text so you need to go over to your layers simply hold this you click on this and then you need to drag it down underneath the layer with the text on but don't drag it down even more else it will go underneath your background and you won't be able to see it so just put it underneath the text then you can move this about where you want and I am actually going to rotate this so first I'll just select none to get rid of that then you need to go to the rotate tool which is over here right hand side three down like that click on the image you would like to rotate then just do it in small steps just, I'm just going to rotate it a bit like that then just use your move tool to move the items around on here until it's a suitable in suitable place where you would like it and that is the thumbnail tutorial finished basically because this is a good thumbnail that stands out and just make sure you follow these rules and all your thumbnails should look better and increase the amount of views you get on your videos so uh, before I end the video I'm just going to show you how you actually save this as a picture so you need to go to file then you need to go to export as make sure it's not this one export as click on that and so obviously you need to type a name for it but you also need to select the file type so click here then you need to find the file type you want to use down here I'm going to save mine as a PNG image then once you've selected that uh, type whatever you want to call it so let's say uh, thumbnail for video something like that then you need to go on export and just leave all these how they are export then once it's done that you just need to go into the file where it would have saved the thumbnail and just find it open it up and if you're happy with it then that's all done and if you're not you can just go back into your editor which is GIMP and just change whatever you'd like to change and then save it again so I hope this has been a helpful uh, tutorial and I hope it will help you to improve your channel and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and well that is it from me for this video so goodbye and uh, I'll see you next time